Hey, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest XI S Definitive Edition on the Switch. Last episode, we defeated the tricky devil over there and we saved this guy who got turned to a dog. <clears throat> So now we need to continue our journey onwards through the mangle grove so we can get to get the red orb and to do something with it. <sighs> that monster dumb tricks. Oh, King's Barrow. Oh, we should visit we should visit the hometown because uh King Carnelian said he would send uh Jasper over there. We gotta make sure everyone's okay. Oh, who's this guy? Oh, it's that same dude. Let's see what he's got. Nothing interesting right now. Alright. The Heliodor region. There's only really one way to go, to be honest. So I'll just head onwards. Is there, what are these things called again? You want to attack one? Let's yeah, fight. Why not? <coughs> sham hat witches. Sham sandwiches, sham hat witches, I get it. Okay, uh, we're gonna attack A. Ending. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. Are they not, they're not that tough, actually. If it wasn't for the Shy Fox, I'd probably beat them. Shy Fox really screws you up in this game sometimes. Oh, treasure chest. The hardy hide for killing the... the sham hat witches. Oh no, there's a block here. Oh, we can climb it. Gotta get through the mangle grove. Gotta move move onwards. Oh, look at that. Little mouse. Flintstone, copper ore, and let's see. How close are we? It looks like I went the wrong way. I should, I should actually climb back up the... I should climb back up. So around the corner, it should be Heliodor. So, yeah, just, just through here should be where we need to go. Heliodor region. And it looks like there's a loading screen there, like a small one. This is right around Cobblestone. So, you know what we're going to do is we'll visit Cobblestone after we're done getting the Red Orb, because I think there's some... Ah, crap. Star Cravens. Alright, let's go. Oh, that was nice. That was a one-hit kill. Okay, we're we're getting pretty tough actually. <laughs> Eric gets all thankful if you if you go to the, do his business first. So let's see what he needs to say. <sighs> well, you know what? If you do, if you decide to go to Eric's place first, he'll be like, "Oh, thanks." Well, thanks for that. Now we should probably head over to your place. Where is King's Barrow? Zoom in.
That must be the Emerald Coast. If I could get through. There we go. Some treasure. Someone just left here. Perfectionist 5. Wow. It's not bad. This must be the Emerald Coast, and the King's Barrow is just around the corner. Oh, look at this. That's an interesting looking rock, huh? Isn't it kind of interesting looking? It's all triangle shaped and stuff. Wonder why that's there. Wonder what the significance of that rock is. Alright, jug of fresh water. Yeah, it's very interesting indeed, that rock. All right, we are going onwards, and look at this world. Look at this huge world, honestly. All right, the King's Barrow should be down there, but we should probably save at the campsite down further before we go into the King's Barrow. That's the King's Barrow right there. Oh, there's some goblins here. They're just running around. All right, let's rest up and save at the shrine. All right, it's nighttime now, and we're going to save. Let's head onwards towards the King King's Barrow. Oh, look at that! It's like a walking dude, Bobo walking guy. Okay, so here we are at the King's Barrow. It looks, it looks like there's a tent here. Break a couple. Ah, here we go. Single file. I think that restores your magic. That might be useful. We're not very prepared for this, but we're gonna go in anyway. I feel like the shy box is gonna screw us over in the end. This is a very old school Dragon Quest dungeon we're gonna be going to. What happened? Check up on these people. That's a corpse. They all got, they all got killed. Those must be the two eagles that represent Heliodor. Huh? It looks like we skipped Cobblestone, came straight to the King's Barrow. See, he, he has... He has unique dialogue if you skip cobblestone. Very role-playing game, you know? Very, uh... Very choices. Alright, uh... Let's head right down. I mean, he's dead, so it's not like it makes a difference. He tried talking to a corpse and he got shy fox. Okay. I'm pretty sure this place is monster infested now at this point. Yep, there's monsters here. We're going to go around. Oh crap. Spooky devil. Buddies. Gotta get away from him. Oh, heal slime. 
Now there's some sp special stuff out here you want to look for. A lot of people don't know this, but there's actually some stat boosting items around here. If I can just find it. Okay, it should be around here. I think there's a chest around here. Oh, it's, uh, this is gonna be like a ring, I think, or... Oh, the... I thought it was a ring. I can't I can't remember. It's been so long since I played this. Alright, let's head back in. Oh, looks like they're having a little, uh, meeting. Don't want to really disturb them, so we're just gonna... Walk around here. This room. Do I need to explore this entire room? I need to walk through here. Oh crap, tricky devil. Go away, go away. I don't like him. I don't like him one bit. Okay, there's another exterior out here. Oh crap. No! I ran into another one tonight. Little devils. Alright. Stuff. Holy crap. I die, I swear. Oh, not Rubble Rouser. If I kill him, will Rubble Rouser go away? Okay. Damn it. Alright, we're gonna flame slash this guy. The main character is actually a lot weaker than, um, than Eric, if you noticed. I can't be using all my magic. Nice, level up. Oh, we should use the skill points. Alright, so, swords. Attack power when wielding. You want, you want this. This is what you want. Not as high as Eric's. Eric is really tough. You're gonna find out that Eric is actually like a monster in this game. Cannot be beaten. When when you start hunting metal slimes towards the end game, you'll realize how good he is. Take by these guys and go up here. Eric is uh he's an essential part of the team. This must be the good stuff. Strength ring. All right, let's let's do this. When you wear, you can wear two different rings, right? Uh, Gemish charm will actually help a little bit. And then there's the strength ring. Look how much uh, attack power that gives me. It's crazy. Now, of course, Eric doesn't need anything because he's, you know, himself. He's really tough. He doesn't care. He even looks like he doesn't care. Let's head back down. Crap, 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 crap. Nope. You want to save all your energy. Okay, is that going to be worth it to jump in the middle of those three enemies to grab that thing? Is that worth it, you think? Wing of Bat? <laughs> what am I gonna do with that? That wasn't worth it. Okay, we wanna go through here, it looks like. There's these owl looking dudes. Alright, we're gonna go through here. Sneak around the corner. Past that tricky devil, or the little devil. All right, here's the thing. I don't think the game's explained this yet, but you can ride those things right there. See those, those sparkles? If I kill that thing, right, 
I can, and these guys can jump, which is a cool thing. So we're gonna attack him. You want to kill kill both of them now. That's that's the plan. Game slash. Nice. All right, nice. You beat him. All right, so we're gonna be riding this guy. Look at this. He's like in there, and he can jump. Need defense. That'll come in handy. All right. Put a feather in your cap. Because now I know how to make feathered caps. Magic water we got. Alright. Item bag. I, I want that magic water. So we're going to be giving that... To myself. And we'll be using this. Whose defense is... I think I need more defense if I'm being honest. Eric kind of is fine. Okay, is there any other good stuff we got? Alright, there's an enemy in the next room. I'm just gonna keep wearing this, because I like wearing it. I hope I'm ready. Uh-oh. Some bad guys look trying to steal the red orb. Big reward. It's gonna be really tough. It was tough the first time. I'm on Draconian Quest now. Grim Griffin's drawn here. I missed. Okay, that's that's not bad. Right off the bat, we can do a pet power. Uh, we'll do an A. Okay, that wasn't too bad. That gay. I'm going to heal Eric now. I got a little risky with that one. Alright, so you got to heal up, you know. Yeah, that would have killed me. No! No, no, no. No. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, so we, we got wiped out. Kingsborough. Yeah, might as well. I think we should fight some more people, maybe. I already have the strength ring, which means... 
That actually wasn't too far back. I feel like it's like death is a lot less punishing in this game. Like I'm just I'm just down here now. Maybe I should fight some people though. All right, you're done for. All right, so we're gonna be doing some stuff here. Agility. His agility is already fast enough. I should make my own higher. I was gonna skip this real quick. I think I might be strong enough. If, if, if I don't do it this time, I'm going to do a little more grinding. Alright, the real decoy. A nice blockage.
<sighs> I could have won. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna auto go back to auto save. And let's just kill some guys until we get level up. Attack first, how are they getting the first move? Okay. Even these guys are tougher. Okay, okay. Okay, are they gonna kill him early? This is so stupid. I gotta go outside and grind a little bit. The Draconian quest is way too difficult. Alright, so what we're gonna do is go downstairs and grab all that stuff. Like, the, the defense seed and all that, all that good stuff. And then we're gonna go outside and then go back to grinding. I know. They went over this multiple times. Alright. Wait, why is it those two? No. You just killed Aaron. No, do not. I hate that guy, okay? Stupid. Of course, he's gonna just keep healing himself. There's no, there's no winning this. Yeah, he's just, he's just gonna kill me. Alright, I'm gonna get back and I'm gonna kick these guys' asses. I'm so pissed off at these stupid monsters. These guys are not gonna win, okay? I'm telling you this right now.
Or we're heading back out now. Oh, crap. Nope. We are not going to take this from these guys. Crap, crap. Are they talking? Head back upstairs, and we're gonna just leave this stupid place. Maybe we should go back to King's Barrow, or uh, not? We are in King's Barrow. Maybe we should go back to Cobblestone. I'm sure there's more monsters around here we can fight. Well, the campsite's over there, which means we can just keep fighting these dudes. Until we get bored. Okay, that was one hit kill. One hit kill again. That's the statue how much uh, more XP we need. Thirty. Oh, we're we're close actually. Okay, so this guy right here, this is a campsite dude. He probably sells good stuff. Oh, that's not actually that good. It's a great sword. That would help. That would make us a lot tougher, but. I know how it is. We're gonna rest a little bit. Cotton top. All right, uh, sleeping hibiscus. What's going on over here? Do people like to go to the King's Barrow? I'm just gonna walk around his house and... Oh, 13, that's a lot of money. I think I might as well spend it. So slow. To get to the next level as soon as possible. Bad, not bad. 
Oh, that wasn't a lot of XP. Goblin. Time to kill some other grub grublins. He did laugh. Oh, that didn't do anything. Alright, let's use his skill points. Alright, so let's see. Vertical wind wielding half inch who's bruiser I'm starting to feel like that would actually be a better move using boomerangs. Not really much to do though. He's dead. He missed. All right, we'll heal again. Okay, you're dead. You're soon to be dead. Alright, we should go heal up now. Uh, using herbal items at least 20 times. How much longer until the luminary gr grows? 116? Uh, that's a lot. One more level ought to do it, I think. Oh, these guys look tough. Rabid. No, don't you dare. Okay, I should have been hitting the heal slime. God damn. Oh my. This is the most. This is such bullshit. The freaking shy pox is the worst thing ever. Oh my.
Yeah, I'll lose my stupid gold. I don't want to lose my level I, I gained. We're still at level 7 and level 8. Oh, what's this over here? I got the first attack. I should be able to attack first. Alright, fine. Let's go. All right, we're getting close. He missed. Missed again. I can't believe that happened. Okay. Oh, we just killed Eric. Come on, flee, flee. No. I don't care. I'll, I'll, I'll go back to the last save. I gotta lose the gold. Screw the gold. Okay. Seventy left. Okay. Seventy more, and then I'll become unstoppable. Kind of. Okay, we got the first attack, which means we're gonna attack this stupid guy. Okay. fight and then that should be enough to level up. Nice. Nice. Agility's up. Sizz. Sizz. I think Sizz will be what changes this. Because now I have a, a, a attack that can attack all the guys. So wait, hold on a sec. I could actually also use the speed of agility on one of us. Eric's already really fast, right? I could be faster. So I'm going to use this on myself, I think. All right, let's try it. Let's try this move out, sis. All right. All right, we're gonna use Sizz now. Not too bad, actually. Cool. Thirty preemptive attacks.
be a one-hit kill, come on. Yes. He's close to being dead. The Krabbit has a really good defense. Alright, let's rest up until morning. A few more of these good fights and then we'll be a little level up again. Alright, this will be good. Oh, you're laughing flippantly. I'm going to be using Sizz on these Grublins. Alright, nice. Level 9. Uh, let's use these skill points right away. Dragon Slash. Vertical uh, hits, sword stance, attack power and wielding, metal slash. Our critical hit chance going up. That's that's good. That's a good trade off. Let's ask how long we take until the next level. 100. Okay, I just need. As soon as I get to the next level, I think we'll be ready to go. We'll head right back into the the King's Barrow and kick some kick some Griffin butt. Oh, you guys think you're cool, huh? Until night. All right, a little more grinding, and then that should be good. Let me just check with the statue again to see how long we need to take. One sixty. Okay.
is on these guys. Okay. Can't do that. Fine, it's fine. We're gonna we're gonna send a lot up the save. Losing a ton of a ton of money though. Back on while they're sleeping. Oh, I can kill him in one hit now. should be close to the next level for Luminary. As soon as that happens, we're immediately gonna storm the King's Barrow again. Nice. Alright, so let's see what the increase was. Uh, higher agility, higher deftness, magical, my magical man. Charm. And HP. Evac. That's a good spell. That means I can jump out of the cave uh, as soon as I'm done with the fight. Okay. Yeah, might as well. Critical hit chance increased. Alright, so we are going to go and rest up and then go to the King's Barrow immediately. Alright, so we're gonna head right over. Immediately over. King's Barrow. Hope I remember how to get back there. Bodies. 
whoever did that needs to pay, obviously. Okay, uh... Go this way. Okay, I know how to get through. I have a little meeting. Devil, oh my goodness. Oh, no. Okay, so we're gonna have to run on through here. Here, down these stairs. Around the corner here. And we should probably kill these guys. Alright, time to ride the, the extra skeleton. Bounce up here. Let's see the fence. Alright, so we have feather caps now. Resilience. I need to make my own resilience a little higher. Because I think Eric just has more health, so he just... He just in general is doing better. Alright, one more time. Let's go. I've already seen this. Whoosh. Yeah, that's gonna stop me. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Look this crap. I'm gonna just let them kill me down. There's nothing left to do. Alright, we're doing this one more time. Auto save. I grinded so much. That was like three levels I grinded. Alright, we gotta try this one more time because that's bull. Yeah, I think we'll just go to Cobblestone. Let's just head on over to Cobblestone, and then after uh, we do the Cobblestone thing, we'll head back here to King's Barrow. Maybe we'll find something that can help us over there.
I was thinking of our friend here. Before leaving off to Cobblestone. Yeah, that should be the right way. Antidote herb, herb. And this should be the entrance to Cobblestone, or just around the corner. Really, I should have checked up on the Cobblestonians before I even leave it, before going to the King's Barrow, because they, they got attacked by J Jasper, right? Shouldn't I just check to see if they're okay? Okay. Up here, that should be where I need to go. Let's see what happened to Cobblestone. Hopefully everyone's okay. Oh, look at that. It's like nothing happened. Welcome to Cobblestone. Not a lot goes on here. I hope you enjoy your visit. Wait, what? What's this guy talking about? Oh, he wants to get married. Watch out for Young Chief. That's me. The heck? Why are they talking about me to myself? Travelers. That's weird. They don't know me? The I just left this place and they already... Wait, we should give them lots of sweet... Wait, what's going on here? He's lying to me, the mayor. Why is he introducing himself to me? What the heck is going on here? This is weird. Looking book, okay. I want to check to see if items are still up here on the roof. Isn't that interesting? I thought I already got that. What the heck is going on here? Wait, isn't that my horse? Outlet. Why does everybody lie to me?
He's about to become a mother. This horse is about to have a baby. Now he's covering for him. Something strange is going on and I'm gonna have to find out. Let's head over back to our house and see what's going on there. <laughs> what? Wait a minute, did we like go back in time or something? Wow, that's the first character who's ever kicked you out of their house for barging in in an, in an RPG. So he's probably like wondering, what the heck? Nobody recognizes me. He definitely went back in time. Oh, that must be Gemma and Sandy when they were young. Sandy was a puppy and Gemma was a little girl. The girl's had scarf. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll get it. What if I just go down to the... I can't move. I, I'm a serious glowing barrier blocks the way. I got. I gotta get the headscarf for Gemma, for little Gemma. A little puppy. So she's gonna take me over to Chalky now. Yeah, we we definitely went back in time. She could like she's so slow. I'm just gonna run past her. Is this the graveyard? Oh, who could that be? I wonder who that is. Talking! He's actually talking! There's Chalky, the Luminary's grandfather. Adoptive grandfather. Chalky's no dummy. He knows that he knows that that's his. That's him from the future. Hi. Sateto. 
He knows. Now, I wonder what happens if you say no. I, I said no my first playthrough. I'll say yes this time. So he knew that that's his adoptive grandson from the future. ダルオに裏切られたというか。デルカダルオが頼りにならないと分かった以上、お前だがこうして話してる時間はあまりなさそうじゃな。村を出て東に向かったところに、石の大滝があるじゃろ。戻ったらそこにある三角岩の前を。東にある石の大滝。そこの。うん。しかし大きくなったのう。これほど立派になったお前を見ることができ、わしは過保物じゃ。いいかい。人を恨んじゃいけないよ。わしはお前のじいじで幸せじゃった。Back to the future now. The three-sided rock. Chucky hit something there all years ago. Chucky's really smart. He could tell that the luminary was in the future just by looking at him. Back to some tour. Oh, there's a mysterious light blocking the way. I did not mean to break that by bumping into it. Town's been destroyed. I think Carnelian must have sent his men here to kill everyone. Matakhideko ベルカダールの兵士たちがやってきて焼き払っ
この根を通じて過去を見る力が備わっているんだなそれじゃあじいさんの言葉を信じて医師の大滝とやらに行ってみるか医師の大滝は村を出て東に向かったところなんだな辛いのはわかるがここにいても何も始まらない行くぞ Look at this place. Oh, there's a, there's a guy here. Come on, this is not the time for that. Cornelian order that this place be destroyed. Save, I guess. They destroyed everything. I'm all healed up, so I don't really need to sleep in the bed here. There's a chest here. A holy knight. Templar's uniforms. Hey, what the heck? Even the mayor's home is destroyed. Oh my goodness, that's Gemma's house. Versus monsters are large outside the village. I guess, I guess they'll sleep in the bed. All right, it's like Eric said, we shouldn't we shouldn't be hanging around here anymore. Let's head over to. We should head on over to the Cobblestone Falls and see what's going on over there. Alright, it's time to head over to Cobblestone Falls. Here's Cobblestone Falls right here.
And there's the this, this three-sided rock he, um, Chalky was talking about. あなたが生まれてすぐ故郷のユグノアの地が魔物に襲われました。誇り高き遊具の穴を王子。そして忘れてはならないのが大きな使命を背負った勇者でもあります。ルミナリー。勇者とは大いなる闇を打ち払う者のこと。いずれこの言葉が何を意味するのかわかる時が来るでしょう。
All right, so I think that looks like a good spot to take a rest for a while. We'll continue next time uh, going into the King's Barrow, hopefully defeating those two griffins and getting back the red orb. And then after that, we'll venture off into the world. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.